Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Presley. Now, before we start the video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That'd be greatly appreciated. So, wow, guys, it's been such a minute since I've done one of these army videos. So, please give this a thumbs up and keep on watching. So, today we're going to be talking about 10 important things to know about maps. Oh my goodness, I cannot stress this enough, guys. I do not want you guys to go through the same thing I went through because I was very unprepared and I didn't really know much about the whole MEPS process when I was joining. So guess what? I'm here to help and let's just get started. So yes, guys, we're gonna be talking about 10 important things you guys should know about MEPS, starting with number one. So the first thing is, bring all of your important documents oh my gosh you do not want to be that person who forgets their id card who forgets their driver's license who forgets their social security card do not forget your important documents guys that is the first thing that they check when they are done scanning your bags because i remember there was a kid in the line and he forgot his id and they literally sent him home so that is the first thing bring all of your documents, you know, get a nice folder. Your recruiter should honestly have all this with him and he should be able to just hold on hold on to it for you until you get to MEPS. But make sure you have your medical cards, your medical records because it's in a very important day and you guys will need all of that at MEPS. So that is the first thing. Do not forget your medical cards and records. Number two is bring a water bottle. Oh my gosh, this is a big one that a lot of people don't know. Bring a water bottle to MEPS. It will not hurt you. It will not cost you anything because you will be urinating almost the whole day. The MEPS process is all about taking a lot of um, urine samples and you guys will get tested for drugs and different things that we're going to talk about in this video. So bring a water bottle. If you're that person that doesn't really uh, know how to pee on the spot, you will be screwed because you're going to be sitting there waiting until you're able to pee and everybody else will be, you know, going through the process faster. So bring a water bottle. The next thing that people don't realize about MEPS is that it's all day long. So don't go there thinking that it's only gonna take 10 minutes, 30 minutes. I was that person who thought MEPS was only like a hour thing. No, it's the whole day. So you guys will leave at around 5 a.m. in the morning and you probably won't get done till at least seven o'clock at night. So be prepared when you guys are staying at the MEPS hotel. You guys should definitely eat a good and balanced breakfast. If you guys haven't already, go watch my MEPS video. I have done a very detailed summary of what to um, expect in MEPS, so check that out. But yes, guys, MEPS is all day and it does get very long and draining, but it's something you guys have to do. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is testing. You guys will go through a lot of testing, okay guys? Another thing that people don't realize about MEPS is that you will be drug tested, okay? So I know there's some people out there, I don't judge, but I know there's some people out there who smoke weed, who may do other type of drugs, you know, you never know. All I'm trying to tell you guys is make sure you guys are clean, okay? I don't care, I mean, I don't condone drugs at all, but make sure you guys have no drugs in your system because they will test you guys. Um, usually it's a urine test. Um, somebody in my comments asked me if they test your hair. They honestly could, but all in all, you just wanna have a clean, healthy system, okay guys? So don't try to cut corners and try to you know find ways to get around it. Just have a clean system. Don't do drugs, crack is whack, <laughs> okay? So the next important thing that you guys should know about MEPS is for the ladies watching, you guys will be pregnancy tested, okay? They test every female to make sure you are not pregnant, okay? They will um, test it on the spot. You guys will have to pee onto a stick and the results will show. And you guys cannot be pregnant to join the army, okay? That's a big one. You guys cannot be pregnant. They will not accept you, okay? Down the line, if you wanna have a baby, that's great. But when you're joining MEPS, you guys cannot be pregnant, okay guys? The next thing to know about MEPS is you guys will have other tests such as the psychological evaluation test. A lot of people don't realize this about MEPS, but you guys will be tested psychologically to see how you think mentally. And like I said before, this is in my other MEPS video. Check that out because I go more into detail. But basically, you guys will sit in a big room. There will be dividers and you guys will be on the computer. Now, the questions are really not that hard. They're honestly just testing like how you think. They might ask you different scenarios like, what would you do in this situation? How would you feel if this person uh, did this to you? Or how would you feel if you had something positive? Like they're trying to see how you think basically. Okay, 
Number seven that people don't realize about MEPS is that the duck walk is honestly not that hard. That is just my personal opinion. Um, when I was joining MEPS, I really didn't know what the duck walk was. I was freaking out. I was literally nervous as heck. Like the night before, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fail MEPS just cause I don't know how to do the duck walk. Honestly, the thing that people don't tell you is that you're gonna be in a big room and there's gonna be a doctor there showing you how to do it. He or she is gonna demonstrate how to do the little duck walk. So it's honestly something that you don't really have to freak out about, okay? Just do your best and honestly, it's just a way for the doctors to test you know, your ankles and to test if you have balance and different things like that. So another important thing to know about MEBS is you will be getting weighed at least two to three times in that day. Now, this is a really big point that a lot of people don't realize. If you're thinking about joining the army, you wanna make sure that you start getting your body right now. You know, Start working out, start eating right, because they will weigh you. And that also goes for if you're underweight. Like for me, when I was at MEPS, they told me that I had to get my weight up. They gave me two weeks and they told me, nope, you gotta come back because I was under the mark. You have to be at least 95 pounds and above to join the army, okay? So you wanna make sure that if you're a person who's struggling with weight problems, you wanna make sure that you um, talk to your doctor, maybe get a meal plan and start really uh, working on that. Okay guys, I also have some videos about weight if you're interested, also go check that out. So another thing that you should know about MEPS is your parents will not be there with you and also your recruiter is not really allowed to be there with you because it's mostly about your evaluation. That's the whole point of MEPS is to medically evaluate you and there's a lot of confidential things being said so technically your recruiter is not going to be there with you so make sure you ask your recruiter all the questions you have before you go to MEPS because another point that I'm going to make is you're not going to have your phone the whole day you're not going to get it back until it's time for you to leave so make sure you guys ask your recruiter all your questions you have because nobody's going to be there to hold your hand. That was also something I was very um, shocked about because when I was at MEPS, I really thought that there was somebody, there was going to be somebody there to help me, but that's actually not true. So keep that in mind. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is, of course, you know, you can't have your phone or anything. So make sure you guys, you know, tell your friends like, hey, I'm going to be gone the whole day so they're not blowing up your phone. And that is pretty much it, guys. Those are 10 important things to know about MEPS. MEPS is honestly not that hard. It's honestly just a big day where you're gonna be medically evaluated. And if you pass MEPS, you guys will do the second process, which is pretty much signing that big golden contract. You know, once you sign it, you can't go back. Um, also too, you guys will probably look around at jobs and to see what MOS you want and all that good stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.